Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Is this graffiti or is this art? <laughs> We're under the A30 near Hale. We knew that there was some graffiti on the pedestals that hold up the bridge here and we wanted to come and have a look for ourselves and they are really fantastic. Here's Johnny. We've parked in Foundry Square in Hale and we're going to follow Carnsew Road to the RSPB Hale Estuary Nature Reserve. Good morning everybody. Hello. We're in Hale today. We are. We saw a fantastic painting online on Instagram, didn't we? Well, it is a beautiful painting, but some people won't call it a painting. No. So we're going to look for it today. We're starting in the middle of Hale and we're heading out to Hale Estuary Nature Reserve where this painting actually sits on a, a pedestal of the viaduct of the A30. So it's technically graffiti. <laughs> it is graffiti, but it's really good graffiti. So even on our way from the car to this bit, this is the plantation in Hale that was laid out by the Harvey family many years ago. It's quite pleasant, isn't it's it? It's very nice, yes, yeah. It sort of links up, uh, takes you around to the land, doesn't it? Yeah, so we're, we're kind of above the main road and it's a bit quiet, a bit more pleasant to walk along. And we've already seen little daubs and scatterings of graffiti. They're definitely graffiti because they're on private property. Hold a message in public view. And the bits we've seen so far are, are ugly. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you think, really, do you really need to do that? You're just making <laughs> the town, which wants to be inviting and welcoming, yeah. look ugly. And it's on private property on some cases, on somebody's launder board or fascia as you know up country. Launder board down here is the board holding the launder that's the gutter. <laughs> Slipped into Cornish there Andrew. <laughs> Learn all sorts on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, DIY tips with Sarah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More graffiti. It's everywhere. It is, it is. And we come across it quite often when we're out walking. We do, and, and sometimes it does make us chuckle. It does. Well, sometimes it's very funny. Last year in Hale, when we did a, a walk around Hale, it was hilarious. I'm going to run the clip now. So I'd just like to point out to anybody watching that this is anatomically incorrect because you have a very sad person there. And I'm not quite sure what those are. And that's massive. Yeah. Hum. Hum. <laughs> I wonder if it's still there. It's probably worn off by now. <laughs> and, and, and Falmouth. Who, who can forget bald Chris? Oh, yes. So I'd just like to point out some graffiti on the wall here. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, I thought that was. There's one that always makes me smile as well. I'm, I'm assuming it's supposed to be there. Yeah. And that's the one in Port Isaac. <laughs> And it says the crab and lobster. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's been it's been done, hasn't it, for the filming, so that when the golden lion becomes the crab and lobster in Dot Martin, they've got something to film, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, it's on that little alleyway that leads onto the, the slipway. Like, yeah. Like, uh, in the harbour there, it, it's it's gorgeous. Yeah. And look, people go down and have their photos taken with it. Yeah. Top, <laughs> I guess they do. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. Yeah, of course they do. Yeah. And. Now Doc Martin's finished filming there. Oh. Will it stay? What will happen to it? Yeah. Oh, that's an interesting thought. Should it stay? Should it go? I like it. I do too. <laughs> Let's join the road here. Yes. So we got the um Hail Saltings, isn't yeah, the it? Hail the saltings over here to the right. Yeah. Oh the tide's right out today, goodness me. So usually we get lots of people with their binoculars and high-powered cameras will stand against that wall. Gosh, I don't know if you can hear me, <laughs> but over there it's signposted, it's an earth one mile, and at the bottom of the brown sign it says Hale Estuary Nature Reserve. We're going to head off left. Not been along here before. I've got a clue where we're going, have you? Well, it goes back towards sort of St Earthway, doesn't it? Well, I can just make out the... A30 on a bridge over there. Do you know, we bring people to all the best destinations in Cornwall, don't we? <laughs> I actually think that graffiti is a really interesting subject because some of it is quite borderline. You look at it and you think, wow, that's really good. And other stuff, you just get annoyed with it and you think, why? Why did you have to do that? It's really not respectful. 
So this is one of those that is on that fine line. Graffiti, no message, but beautifully done. Fingers crossed we can find it. Oh, we're, we're at the, um, we found the RSPB Hale Estuary Nature Reserve, so we're, we're in the right direction. I've got a good feeling about this. I can see the A30 bridge. And we could have parked here, actually. It's wide enough, there's enough room to ditch your car quite safely. Oh, I'm getting excited now. Wow, so the train line is right beside us here. I've never been here before, have we? No! Oh, <laughs> the irony, look behind you. <laughs> yeah, that's not so pretty, is it? <laughs> so we're heading up to the bypass. Yes, we found it, I can see it, you can see it. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So graffiti is defined as defacing private property without permission. Well, it's illegal, isn't it? And it's defined. usually, yeah, 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 exactly. It's usually in a public view and it has a, a message, doesn't it? It wants to grab attention. So is this technically graffiti? Well, we don't know, firstly, if he got permission or not. It's beautiful. It doesn't really have a message and it's not very public. So is it on the verge? We'll let you decide. It's brilliantly drawn. Those eyes have a real menacing quality. Now, is it the specific character that Jack Nicholson is playing? So that depicts Jack Nicholson, the actor, yes. and it shows him playing a character from, I think, The Shining. Okay. And I think it's Jack Torrance from the movie. He looks rather menacing. Doesn't I haven't he? seen the movie. We haven't watched that movie, have we? But we so. haven't. But it is supposed to be. It's a horror. horror Dark. Movie, isn't it? so, yeah. Here's Johnny. So it's essentially a black canvas, and then he's used three colours. So we've got a dark grey, this lovely warm grey, and a pale grey, and that's it three colours on a black canvas and he's created that. That is talented. I know you're trying to film it and it says dogs. I don't really need this one but it's kind of ironic <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> dogs! So when we read about this they were suggesting is this the new Banksy? Yeah, a Cornish Banksy. <laughs> yeah. Good, wouldn't it? But yeah, it's a chap called Dogs, apparently. D O G Z. Good. Yeah. I don't know if it's his first name or his last name. But with Banksy's art, they take the concrete bit away. If they do that, there's going to be a bit of a problem in there. I'll be fun. Cormac won't be very happy, will they? <laughs> Biella. So I can tell this is good because we're interested in it. And not only. Is it the interest in... He's actually made something look really realistic. I very, know. very simple. It's very simple, isn't it? He's only used it's a few colours, simple. isn't he? I really appreciate the way he's done the teeth and the shadow of the nose. You know that's a nose. And when you look at it closely, it's just a circle. It's a shaded circle just to give that highlight on the other nostril. And the teeth are the same. You know that that shape is a tooth and that that is in shadow, whereas that's catching the light. See, I like the eyes. Yeah. Your eyes are so menacing. That spot and the, the, the shape of the forehead, that, that shape and the over-hooded eyes and just that spot, it's just menacing. So are we, are we calling this graffiti or are we calling this street art? Personally, I think that is a very good piece of art. Now, there is meant to be another one here, isn't there, of E.T.? <laughs> E.T. for no. Is it on the other side of this stanchion? Should we get have a look? <laughs> it is, it is. Oh, there. <laughs> that wow. is really good, isn't it? Yeah. I'm impressed. I'm blown away. It's 
excellent. That is brilliant. So again, it's the same colour palette and he's managed to get so much depth just by a few little squirts and circles and shapes and paint. And look how fine that line is to give you the wrinkles around his eye. Gosh, there is no mistaking what he's trying to portray there. It's brilliantly done. Sarah, it's got me thinking about the film E.T. Yeah. And it gives me free licence to do my E.T. impression. What's that? Hello Elliot, E.T. phone home. <laughs> and as E.T. always often says, if you've enjoyed our video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, <laughs> phone home. So, it does beg that question, doesn't it? Graffiti and street art, where do you draw that line? Oh, very good. No? I like that. Like that? Yeah. Is that going in? Yeah. Okay. So also graffiti has been used to highlight objections to things. Last year in St Agnes, graffiti was daubed over a holiday home, wasn't it? It was, right on the uh, slipway down onto the beach at Trevornance Cove, wasn't it? Got a lot of attention doing that, didn't it? Going to the national press. Yeah. Um, it was quickly covered up again. It was really highlighting the fact that there's nowhere for locals to live around the coast anymore. All these properties yeah. have been given over to holiday the homes. The impact to tourism, isn't yes. it? And how that's affected locals. Yeah. And there was another one years and years ago when South Crofty was on the brink of closure and there was this poignant poem written all along the wall, wasn't was. there? It went along the lines of something like Cornish lads are fishermen, yeah. Cornish lads are miners too. When what, the tin and fish are gone. What are the Cornish boys to do? Yeah. And we saw there was an image of that. We went to Heartlands recently, wasn't there? Yeah. Yeah. So that kind of was poignant and sad. Being a Cornish person, I can relate to that. But at the end of the day, it was graffiti. Just reminded me as well. I do remember once we went to Heartlands. We didn't make a video, but I took this photograph and it did make me laugh. There we yes, are. <laughs> I know Don the one you mean. Donald Trump <laughs> eating a pasty. Yeah. There we go. Don't see that every day, do you? <laughs> so the one piece of graffiti that we haven't mentioned that we discovered whilst walking on the channel, Zena. We went into an abandoned chapel. Beautiful mural. Very, very small. It's really, it's yeah. Very tiny. You well, could have missed it. I, I wouldn't say that was graffiti. I would say that was the finest of art. Yeah, I agree Beautiful. with you. And it's, it looked like a memorial to somebody that they obviously loved dearly and held dearly. Are Beautiful. Are going to play that clip? Yeah. This was built in 1840. It was the old Bible Christian chapel. Oh, look, this is the old entrance. Look at this graffiti. Barrel, 1907. 1913, Win. Oh, wow. It's really old, Sarah, graffiti. Can you have a look in my backpack for that chisel? <laughs> Sarah and Andrew. Just put CWT, 2020. it's a lot easier. <laughs> oh my goodness, look. Somebody's painted that. Is that coming out on camera? There's two oh women. Oh my gosh, that is amazing, That's isn't spooky. it? That's spooky, I nearly missed that. That's incredible. Oh, they're on horses. No, they've got saddles with them. Oh, wow. That's amazing, isn't it's it? beautiful. Now that's first class graffiti, isn't it? My goodness me, to bring a complete palette with you to paint something on a wall in a derelict chapel. That's commitment. I thought it was a Banksy, but it's not. What is it? It's a chapel -y. <laughs> Like most towns across the county and across the country, Hale has its problems and issues with graffiti. What the town council has done is really positive. They've actually given the kids somewhere that they are allowed to graffiti. And it's in the play park here at the Copper House end of Hale. The idea is that the council will allow kids to come and graffiti this and paint over it every now and again for them to start again. I guess like a big whiteboard. My question is, is it big enough when you consider what happens in the skate park behind? 
so the council's kind of blurred the lines there between what kids are allowed to do and what they're not allowed to do, haven't they? So they've kind of given it a grey area about the graffiti. Yeah, so they've obviously provided them with a space. They've got that white wall there, which apparently they're going to be painting white regularly and then yeah. gives them a canvas, I suppose, to do what they want to do. But to be honest with you, the, the kids are just uh, having fun by the looks of it, doing graffiti inside the, the skate bowl itself, aren't they? Well, it's kind of theirs, isn't it? It makes it. It's their, their space, space, isn't it? And it's it, they're just putting their stamp on it, really, aren't they? And I think, in a way, I'd far rather they did it there than on my laundry board that I've just put up or something on my fence. I or, agree. Yeah. Right, so Sarah. Yeah. Right, that is annoying. Yes. Whereas that over there. Is allowed. Is allowed. It does send out a confusing message, doesn't it? But if I own that property, I would be disappointed, annoyed, and having to fork out money to put it right. But over there is fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We couldn't do this video without doing something positive about the effect of graffiti. So here's an art piece that's on the side of the National Animal Welfare Trust. We're here to take our picture, make a donation, which has to be a positive aspect of street art and graffiti. That's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Fabulous. Oh, there's a little message up there behind the car. Oh, I can have a look. We did have a discussion before we left home whether we should film the arbitrary graffiti around town, whether it has a hidden message, whether we'd be offending somebody. In all honesty, we don't know. <laughs> so there is a fine line to be drawn <laughs> with this video as well. A fine line? So if we have inadvertently <laughs> offended anybody by filming something that has a meaning to you or is offensive, we apologise. One our fault. Two eyes, big nose. I didn't do it. So we've shown you all sorts today. We've shown you street graffiti. We've shown you art. Yeah, some very talented art as well, I think. Yeah, that led to him actually doing a proper mural on a charity's porter cabin. Yeah, and I think, although graffiti itself is to be frowned upon, I think, and it's not a pleasant thing, is it? But there's no. positives that have come out of this. So both Hale Town Council are trying to embrace it by creating a space here for people to... To let their freedom. Yeah, let to express, them express themselves, themselves, isn't it? Isn't it? And but, the um, fabulous street artist, we saw the works under the uh, yeah. A30 there. He's a really um, talented bloke. Yeah, and he's been commissioned to do that work at the Animal Welfare Place. And that's a fantastic piece. And they've been delighted with it up there. Yeah. So um, <laughs> We'll leave the yeah. uh, a link to make a donation if you want to towards the Animal Welfare Trust in the description below. But we hope that you join us next time. So for now, we'll say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.